Good day, Sir Torres. I am Mark Gilbert Venezuela from AMGT1 Alpha, and I'm here to discuss about empiricism by David Hume, John Locke, and George Berkeley, and structuralism by Ferdinand de Saussure. Empiricism, a philosophical doctrine that holds the view that knowledge is derived from experience. According to John Locke, all knowledge begins with experience and that the mind is like blunt sheet or tabula rasa, that the human person fills with ideas as she experiences the world through her five external senses. The empiricist, therefore, deny the contention of the rationalists that ideas are innate, that is, humans are born with imprinted ideas, knowledge, and principles. Kitang mga tao, we have inner experience such as dreaming, imagining, and fantasizing. However, katang mga inner experiences, wala to sila ilabot sa empiricism. Kaya when we talk about experience, labi na sa philosophy, ang grafer sa empiricism is katong mga sensory experience using five senses. It also has an emphasis on how the human mind acquires knowledge and conceptual understanding. In fact, John Locke, a 17th century British philosopher, devoted book to, entitled an essay, Concerning Human Understanding, the Explaining the Origin and Development of Knowledge. Locke says that first, there is the relationship between the subject or the knower, and subject or the thing known. So maka na to, ang subject makaperceive sa object using the five senses. According to Locke, pinaagian ng mga sensations, ang human mind makaform of simple ideas, like sa ato mga nakita parehoan ng mga lamesa, libro, o goban pa. Unya, if matipo na nato tanan simple ideas, as lock contents, mahimo na siyang complex ideas pinaagi sa reflection. Lock understands the reflection as the perception of the operations of our mind within us, as it is employed about the ideas it has got. According to lock, reflection may involve thinking, willing, believing, and doubting. Let's proceed to structuralism. Structuralism, one of the most influential intellectual movements in the 20th century, which embraces a wide variety of intellectual disciplines, such as linguistics, aesthetics, anthropology, sociology, and psychoanalysis. Atong timanan nga yung structuralism is method na It aims to analyze isolated events or meanings in terms of their underlying structural law. It seeks to particulars describing their interrelationship within the totality of general codes which govern them. It looks for the deep and other hidden structures beneath the surface manifestation of meaning. Structuralism can be broadly defined an attempt to unify the human sciences by applying a single methodology derived from Ferdinand de Saussure. Siya ang giila as the father of the structuralist method of analysis. Ferdinand de Saussure's approach is to treat language as a self-regulating rather than a self-referential system of science. He argued language should be analyzed in terms of its internal structures. That is what language is in itself as a formal system of relations. The general linguistic model derived from Ferdinand de Saussure's insight that a language is not a nomenclature of things but a system of signs consisting as signifier and a signified. For Saussure, signs do not designate an external reality or referent and are meaningful only because of the similarities and differences that exist between them.